Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. It has been so long and I am absolutely sorry that I haven't been uploading. If you want to be kept up to date with this series, please make sure to go over to the Twitch channel and give it a follow. Link for that will be on screen now. So let's have a look at this Bolton save. The aim of the game on this save is to effectively make Bolton the best team they can do by the end of... Well, we're basically going to be going as long into the future as we can before the start of FIFA 23. So then, what did we do? The first thing that we did, which was, I think, the probably most, I'd say, in the position that we are, the most sensible offer, was to capture James Trafford and Marlon Fossey, both on permanent deals. We also got our um, our pre-order Wonder Kid through, which is Bull, and I, he pretty much is an absolute immense talent. Um, currently training him to be a right midfielder. Uh, but this is the squad. It is quite a well-rounded squad. It's We've had some issues in terms of um, signings outside of Fossey and outside of Fossey and um, Trafford just due to the fact that there's not really too much money available. Uh, so hopefully we're in a position soon where we can improve the squad further but I'm going to take it at baby steps. I think this first season uh, we rely on the youth. So you might be thinking to yourself then what um, is the deal, deal with this? So what we do is we play the first game of the season and we play the last game of the season and everything in between we sim. And at the end of the season, I will show you the player growth, where we finished, and any decent prospects. So without further ado, let's get into this game against MK Doms. Sort of happy with getting... I did want to get uh, our new signing, Connor Bradley, but... As they go down to 10 men, Connor Wickham, right through the back of the defense. From the Milton Keynes defenders, but they get away with it. And they're coming forth here. In some intricate football. A little bit of an overload going here with Hayden, Sins of Smith. That's one now. Yeah, I knew it was happening. As soon as the defender didn't move, I just knew that <coughs> that was going to happen. So we find ourselves 1 0 down, and MK Dons now have something to hold on to themselves. They've managed to jam themselves a goal. I'm not happy with the victor with how they got the goal, but I guess it's just how it be, how it is going to be this season with the fact of defensive five backs and the game basically BMing you all the time. So let's go forward then to the end of the season and we'll see where we're at. End of the season and we are have made some additions so I'll show you the additions first you can see a few of them I think you can see one of them <laughs> uh, to be fair uh, so let's have a look at the additions first thing we did was we made Athelion a uh, we made Athelion a cam so then we could have uh, Bull on the left and sadly on the right we did have the departure of Declan John where Hemelinen did join us as a free transfer which I think is uh, pretty good 67 rated, nice and solid. Um, the big buy of the winter transfer window was Coventry City's uh, Bape, Bapega, I believe. I'm calling him William at the minute whilst I just figure out uh, the pronunciation. But a very promising 19-year-old uh, talent uh, who comes in, uh, I think for just over a million. Uh, we then sold Josh Sheehan, so we came in with the Norwegian uh, talent Hom, or Home. I think Home's probably the better way of saying it. Uh, came in again, and pretty much just for just short of a million, which was basically just what we sold um, Josh Sheehan for. 19 year old, decent potential. And then uh, Geffen Jones left us, uh, so I went ahead and brought in. Uh, Larson, uh, again, a pretty low fee. Um, I believe it was uh, the best part of 650k coming in from the Norwegian League. 
And then in the free agents, we did have what I'm calling the Hennelina a brother. Uh, 66 rated, comes in. Uh, very, very solid uh, backup. Obviously, he's actually not too far off George and uh, Santos's rating. So we could probably see in the future a uh, partnership of Hemelainen and Hemelainen in the team. Uh, besides that, though, not much is uh, really changed. Uh, we did have Hansen, who comes in from our, who comes in from our Hugh Franks, who is a very tall, very fast centre back, who's very physical. So hopefully, at some point uh, there. But I can reveal though the thing that you're all waiting for. Where are we? We are seventh. Not quite good enough for uh, the playoffs. Um, you know, FIFA is FIFA. And somehow, MK Dons in the last game of the season have three games in hand. <laughs> you know, because FIFA is FIFA. We're going to get into this game against, um, against Fleetwood. And let's see how we can get on. Half a lion fouled. The thing is that I don't understand that. There's so much space where where Charles was running into, but they play it like right next to where the man was. Dion Charles, goal for Bolton! It comes at 30 minutes in, and it that would took absolute effort to get to. The game just refuses to let you score at times, but Dion Charles is the man to get the goal what, what happened with his career I always really enjoyed him and it's a mistake by by the Fleetwood defence and Bull makes it too they got it uh, caught underneath the feet and the pressure from I believe it's Charles and Arthur Lyon just manages just to get, put that defender under pressure yeah it's Arthur Lyon manages just to pressure that off the from Charles to play through Bull on the first time. Bull now wins the ball back again. Charles into Will. Will cuts back on it. And Carl Dempsey 3 0. And I believe Fleetwood are beginning to capitulate now. Kyle Dempsey comes through and makes it free. Fleetwood very much struggling. I will take this opportunity. And Dion Charles, it's blocked. And I. Morley. Bull. And there it is. 3 0 heart, full time then. Um, quite a good end to the season then. Uh, we'll quickly just have a review of where we finished and the top goal scorers and the top assists. Then, guys, it is the end of the season. And as we can clearly see. Uh, so as you can see, we finished eighth overall. It was a little bit weird when we played our forty-six games. There were teams still on like forty-four go, uh, forty-four games, which is really fucking weird. Uh, but I think eighth isn't the worst. Um, if we just look quickly at the stats, um, you will be able to tell. Uh, Dion, uh, the goals weren't the issue with um, Afalayan, uh, sadly, and Charles all contributing to. A decent return of goals uh, but the issue that we do have though is the assists we don't really have an out and out um, creative player with predominantly uh, Dempsey and sadly being the only ones to really provide assists and I mean we didn't really even, we didn't have anyone who to get 10 plus assists so we definitely need a good creative midfielder uh, going into season number two please make sure to subscribe uh, leave a like as well as it really does help the it really does help in terms of um, how much this video is getting pushed and recommended. Go give a follow over on Twitch if you want to be more involved with the development of the squad. Obviously, um, as I'm doing it on the go, uh, we're going to have it where people are able to. We're going to have it where people are able to input more. Until next time, I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.